it, it's important to take care of yourself, and people don't I tell realize him this. that. They tell me he drinks. He'll wake up in the morning, and if he go down, <laughs> listen, he'll go down the road and get a, 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 a get just a regular coffee. Like I, when we was at Rhode Island, we get a coffee almost every morning or something. He'd get one that was two percent coffee, and. <laughs> And ninety eight percent French vanilla and sugar. That's good though, man. I was like, oh it my is lord! Good. And, and then and then he'd have that walk out, and then he'd have a uh, energy drink with him too. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? And then I'll get another coffee much. later. Yeah, I'm like, you're going to die. Monster, how, how, do you have like? Does your chest ever hurt? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he tells me all the time he's stopping. I mean, I've collapsed both my lungs before, so I mean, like that's already you know. Wait, what happened? I've collapsed lungs before, so I mean that. Didn't... How did that happen? I don't know. Wait, it just collapsed out of nowhere? I was uh, I went to bed one night, and when I laid down, and felt a pain in my chest. And I was like, well, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a panic attack. Uh huh. So I just went to sleep. Got up next morning. It was still hurting. Went to the hospital. They said that lung collapsed, so they had to... I didn't know like lungs a, just collapsed yeah. on people. I thought well, like something had to happen. They said it was spontaneous, like um, with my body size where I'm skinnier. They said uh-huh. it's a lot easier to just happen. And your lungs just give up? Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm tired. Let's take <laughs> like, a break. What happens? Like, how do they fix that? Oh, uh, they have to put a chest tube in, and they put a tube in your lung, and then just kind of pumps it up like a balloon. So it's like <laughs> basically yeah, like, you'll, like you'll putting air machine. in a ball. Yeah, yeah you see this machine in the corner going, <laughs> what? <laughs> and it and that works. Yeah, forever or just until it can it collapse again? It can randomly happen again. It could. That it's because, is crazy. It's because he used to smoke. And, well, and and also probably those. And, oh, like yeah, the energy was, drinks I mean, and habit, everything else. Back then was totally bad. Like, I don't drink Monsters really anymore. I still do the yeah. coffee a lot. But I was drinking coffee, Monster cigarettes, coffee, Monster cigarettes, coffee, Monster cigarettes. Yeah. Pack a day. Some people, no, say, some people can this. do that, though, man, and live forever. No, I mean, yeah, I, like, I'd kill me out bad. Dude. Yeah. I, I take a sip, a sip of a Red Bull right now, one little tiny sip. Mm-hmm. I'm I can't off the walls. Bull. I'm flipping out. Yeah, I don't know what it is, bro. But that's what I think that like a lot of people, a lot of young people that look up to these like so-called rock stars that have these party lifestyles. That's oh, yeah. what they don't realize is they think that they can go as hard as somebody like Hunter S. Thompson no. or something like that. No, no. Hunter S. Thompson could go as hard <laughs> yeah. as Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. You're, You're not him. You, you, you know? read that, exactly. book, that book before, Fear and Loathing. Oh, yeah, I've read them all, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a big Hunter Dude, S. Thompson. My brother man. is, he's in, he's very in tune with all that knows all about it and that dude right there was something else there will never be another human being alive like Hunter no, S. Thompson right. and and he is a Kentuckian uh-huh. really yep yeah. from the bluegrass state Johnny of Kentucky Depp, Johnny one Depp's one of the Johnny Depp lived with him in his house and stayed with him to yeah. get that character ready for the movie. Did you hear crazy. about like when he's well? Johnny was staying in his basement, and uh, he Hunter gave him a place to ash his cigarettes right beside of his bed. Yeah, and he yeah. said like, he just kept ashing them, ashing them, and like finally like he sent like a little box under uh, like a cloth that was on top of the table, and he left the cloth, and it was a box of dynamite. Oh, yeah, that he was ashing his cigarette out. That's what Hunter gave him to ash his cigarette out on. Is a loaded box, like real dynamite. Oh my God. <laughs> a lo- a lo- the box was loaded. Yeah, that's what he's ashing his cigarette out on. Hunter didn't care, he man. He was just like, trying to get him to blow it up. He <laughs> probably think it was cool. I mean, like he's like, this is this is hard, man. This <laughs> this guy would have gunfights with his neighbors. I mean, what? like, yeah, he, he was said, wild, he did man. Say, he did say for a long time. He said, when I when I when I go out, it's on my own choice. He called and told, like, I think it was that the girl that he was with that time around him said, you know, uh, this is what's going to happen, and hung up on her and then just shot himself. Yep. He, he said uh, it. He said, I'm going out on my own terms. Yeah. Insane. And he did it. Because, I mean. He's but, not somebody to look up to. He's really not. No, it is. But, but he's fascinating. Exactly. Though. He's not somebody. He's not a good role model. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that's that's a good way. That's to where you have to, like, separate. Like, but his say, mind. It's like a but, fascination but, and role model kind of thing. But, but exactly, his mind, though. Yeah. His mind. His creative ideas is just his process of how he did things and journaling all the man. He's just just something else. Like oh, yeah. Alex brought up something good. Have y'all ever heard of his daily schedule? He is. They no. like his. Yeah, my I brother told me. I don't something. even know if remember. we can say it on here. Ooh. But like, yeah, he's he was a, a heavy consumer of substances. Oh yeah, let's I know. just say that. I know. For and, sure. and, and, and like, you can find his daily schedule there online. Yeah, I don't Ooh. think we can say it on this show. Yeah, but I mean, it's. Yeah. It's amazing that he lived mm-hmm. to be as old as he was. Let's, oh, yeah. see, let's see how old he was. But, uh, yeah, he sat under his favorite tree with his favorite typewriter and yeah, shot himself. But, like, he uh, 
living that lifestyle, and he got to be like in his 60s, I think it was. Yes. I mean, it's like Ozzy. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, imagine the pain that their body is oh, in. Yeah. You know, you can only do so much to yourself and not suffer. Um, what was that movie? I think you and me watched it. I don't, no, we didn't watch it together. MGK played the drummer in it. Oh, uh, The Dirt. The, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was 67. Thank you, Alex. Google's being dumb today. Yeah, but I mean, like, imagine being 67 and doing all of that to your body over yeah. the years, you know? And I mean, this man was... Wild. Have you seen the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? I, I have, don't think so. I have a so yeah. awesome. And, 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 and the thing is, like, apparently, like, that is exactly how that you know, like trip when they went. They got in that hotel room. The, I, they got in that hotel room, and he was. Uh, when he was in the bathtub? Or? There, there's some. You can't even say it, but there's, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's just, there's a lot of stuff going on, and that was a true, actual, true yeah. life story. Well, well the, the cool thing about Hunter is he changed journalism forever. Uh, he, he, his journalism was called gonzo journalism, and it's also the adopted style of journalism in a lot of today's media outlets. Mm-hmm. Like, th- like Hunter like basically put himself in the situation. Mm-hmm. He told you about whatever was going on through his own eyes. He wasn't really giving you the facts or talking to yeah, the yeah. people they probably really needed to talk to, but he was like just kind of giving his point of view mm-hmm. on things. Before social media, before all these big news organizations had their own biased opinion. Yeah. You had Hunter S. Thompson. So he kind of was the founder of all that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I mean, he told it the way that he viewed it, which was not a politically correct way by <laughs> any means, but the man made also made a lot of sense. And he was also wickedly smart, too. Just ah, such a fascinating guy. And, I mean, it's... Yeah, and right, right here, Louisville, Kentucky. That's where he's born, 1937. Wow. No, Hunter no, Stockton no, no Thompson. No role model, but definitely somebody you would just, like, my brothers one taught me to, to, like, look at him and, and, like, just be interested in it. And he's very interesting.